Pisces, welcome to your general love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. Before I forget, I just want to say a quick thank you. 40,000 subs came and went, and I tell you, I've just been so preoccupied, I haven't had a minute to say thank you to folks, but thank you. Okay, like always, we continue to grow, and I'm just, I'm loving it. I'm living for it. Awesome. What's going on? Show me what I need to see. Oh, there you are, right on the split. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you're connecting with uh, Virgo. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on, please, for Pisces? What's up? What's going on, please? We also have on the split yourself with Taurus. All right. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please. Do it. Seriously. I'll tell you, my hair just... It just gets everywhere, don't it? All right, what's going on, please? Just to let you know, my phone is currently on. Uh, it has to be, I'm sorry. So if we get some disruptions, of course, I'll edit it out, all right? What's going on, please? What's going on? What's going on? One more. Show me what you need to see, please. What's going on? All right. All right, recent past, Knight of Swords taking action. Currently, the Empress, ooh, dual card of Taurus, Libra, somebody feeling good. Your individual energy, I don't, uh, it could be you, okay? You might have emotionally checked out from someone of some significance, the Empress, you know, or it could be that you're walking towards an Empress with confidence, we shall see. Uh, and then surrounding you, or it's surrounding you, the person is a Knight of Coin, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. We also have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Two of Swords in the future. Strength, Card of Leo, Eight of Swords. We are trying to do our best to make ourselves make a decision, to own a decision. Advice, please, is the Queen of Swords exactly make a decision because your overall is Ten of Swords surrounded by pain. Well, honey, okay, you're in pain, and the best way to clear up that pain is to make a decision and then it will stop, okay? I see you trying to own this. I do. I see you trying to own this, and it's critical, and it's important to you. I see you trying to take action, and I think that all, honey, the whole reason why any of this is here is because obviously this is somebody who means something to you, the Empress, yeah? Do you fight for it or not? Do you let it go or not? Do you engage with it or not? It's important, I know that energy they're pulling up knight of coin energy slow i don't know if that's on purpose or what's going on with them we shall see um page coin vulnerability opening up scared communication i see you pisces trying to own a decision that you understand is critical and you couldn't see your way through it for a very long time which explains your direct advice is the queen of swords is to make a decision you know or you know everything already that it is that you need to know um and you're causing yourself unnecessary pain okay or at least you're currently in what looks like unnecessary pain ten of swords let's break it down what's going on show me what i need to see please for the best possible clarification for pisces what's up What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Pisces. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Pisces. What's up? What's going on? All right. What's up? Show me Pisces. Pisces. Knight of Swords in the recent past. Eight of Pentacles. We've buried ourselves into work. That's the only thing we knew that we could comfortably exude our energy in. It's the only place we could feel our boundaries were down, but you were still carrying with you a great deal of secret thoughts, which were what... The truth, the truth of what, where you actually wanted your offer to go in terms of your long-term future. It's looking like you were confronted by something new, and instead of answering that, you buried yourself in work. You didn't know what else to do. You had secret thoughts regarding Ace. Strong new energy in your recent past. How recent that is, is up to you. Ace of Swords, though, and the Ace of Pentacles, uh, these were your secret thoughts. You didn't talk to them about anybody, but for some reason you kept thinking about them the most while you were in your work environment. It's the only thing you knew that you could safely take action towards, at least in your recent past. Okay. Show me this current situation is the Empress. What's going on? Show me the Empress, please. It could be that you were in an established relationship and the Empress is your person, and then, of course, that would automatically feel like a threat if you were threatened with aces. Right? Ace of Cups. Oh dear. Chariot. Ten of Cups. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
Some of you are connected to cancer. Your primary person is a cancer. And I say primary because there was a threat of someone else. They represented aces. They challenged your established relationship. The one that is strong. The Empress is here. It's a little card of Taurus Saber, but that's not really the point. It's in terms of a person, she represents our biggest place of um, importance, right? The Empress is very, very important. We moved away. I see the energy moving away from this idea of Ace of Cups again. I saw the th what in your Piscean experience has taught you this was the threat versus what is established. You were threatened with Aces three times. New love, new love, new prospect, new long-term, new longevity, a new truth, a new pathway, a new confrontation. And you went towards your Ten of Cups. Okay, energetically speaking, you moved away from this idea of the Ace and into your Ten of Cups. Now, this Empress could be your established person or the person who represented the Ace. I can't tell. The energy is overlapping. So that tells me you had to make an active choice, but that was not an easy one. Energetically speaking, you continue to invest in your Ten of Cups. Let's put it that way. Um... You tr really, honestly, though, I see you trying to avoid the decision. Energetically speaking, you made a decision, okay? You actively moved away from the aces, but you also entertained it. I'm not saying you entered into a third party or anything like that. I'm just saying that's when you thought about it the most is when you're at work. Eight of Cups, you walked away from this idea of singledom or independence. You rejected the idea of being becoming independent or single. Okay, so again, you stayed with your Ten of Cups. You walked away from that idea. You said it was a bad job. Okay, you said it was a bad idea. It was not good. Okay, or it could be that you are staying in your commitment, which might be codependent, or it could simply be that you are tied to a Capricorn. Okay. Um, you, regardless, you for took um, independence. Okay, we chose our commitment, which sometimes feels good and sometimes feels bad, right? Which is what codependency often feels like. You get to share your life with somebody, but um, it's not always in the healthy way. But uh, the person surrounding you is showing the Knight of Pentacles. They might be a Six of Cups. Mm. This could be your primary person or the other. We shall see. Show what I need to see, please. Show what I need to see, please. Show what I need to see, please. This nice pentacles. Two of wands in reverse. They're not making a decision. But the pain's over. Five of cups is in reverse. They're also not apologizing. I see. This is the friend. I see. It was the ace that was missed. So yeah, this is the other. Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay. High Priestess underlying that. Person that's highly intuitive. Okay, so this is the other. Their energy is slow. You don't see it being aimed at you or moving towards you anymore correctly. Yes, that's correct. They are now pulling an Ace in the reverse. Okay. So they pulled up three Aces, now an Ace in the reverse. Um, I feel like they are trying to tell themselves, I don't feel that way about Pisces. It's in... They, they, they made the decision. It's it's a decision that's already been done. Two of Wands is in the reverse, so it's after the fact. <sighs> We're just friends. We're friends that don't actually do anything. <laughs> With that Knight of Pentacles energy, we're, we're friends, but no, we're not. Because normal friends, if you actually are a friend, you hang out, you talk, you catch up, you share stories, you share food, you share drink, you share memories, you share hours. That's what healthy friends do. This is someone who is not that friend, but they say, we're friends. You know, but you, they, they don't engage with their energy, not with that Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Um, it's just what you say about people that sometimes you come into contact with, you know, but uh, you both know you're more than friends, but you can't have them. So that's what you say, right? And they've made a decision. They feel no pain. They feel no regret. That Five of Cups is in reverse. They also offer no apology. For some reason, that's very important to them. I don't know why, but they offer no apology. They don't. They don't. So this person has pride. For better or worse, they have pride. But mostly I just see it as their Five of Cups is in reverse. They no longer feel pain about this situation. Um, 
but it's looking like they told themselves to put their fire out for you. It's again a conscious decision. Pisces is just... Oh, that's what it is. Someone I used to know. That's that vibe. Someone I used to know. That's, that's all they are. Someone I used to know. Hmm. Um, whether or not... How obtrusive they were into your life, I don't know. You know, could be done with a fellow water sign. Um, I don't know, I just see that you think about them a great deal. More so when you're at work. And that's where you take most of your comfort is at work. That's when your guard is down, is when you're at work. Okay. All right. Let's keep on. What's going on? So, why it's coming up again. See? Come on now. Two of Wands. There it is, that decision again. So, if you want to know what happened to that person, you know, they, they, they clearly made a decision to not talk to you anymore. Okay. Um, they don't regret that. They... It's looking like they feel that that is the correct thing to do. They also, by default, don't show you any passion either. That's also an active decision. All right. Show me. What's going on here? I am seeing, however, a Pisces who has chosen to not be single, to very much stay in their attachment, which, I'm not going to lie, looks unhealthy. But if you chose it, then you know that. Okay. Real person, real tarot. I talk to real people. So if that offends you... You probably shouldn't be here. Okay, Two of Sword. We're undecided about the love. Is it still there? See, now your other person, your outside person, is their their cups. Are, I'm sorry, their aces is pulling reverse. Um, five of Wands. Is there anyone competing over their love? You don't know. Why do you want to know that? You don't know if you're an option anymore or if they even have options. Why are you thinking about it, honey? You're not communicating, so I don't know why you're thinking about it. Your mind's still going back to them. What are their love options? Is somebody competing over their cup? They don't seem to be seeing anybody. But uh, I should stop thinking about it because I'm not an option either. I'm not an option either, so why am I still thinking about it? Why am I still... Because you're still undecided at the end of the day as two of swords. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you're still undecided. Strength. So many strength, please. You know? Honey, if it's in the reverse, it's in the reverse. I say you because default, it's your reading. I don't automatically turn it around the other person in order to get views. I call bullshit on that. Sorry. Show me what I need to see, please. I talk to people who can own their shit. Those are the people I talk to. Strength, Ten of Wands is in reverse. The burdens. Uh-huh. Strength. This might be hypothetical. Especially since I'm now looking at a Pisces, you still question the other person. Is there somebody occupying their heart space? Do they have options? I'm not one of them, so I shouldn't be thinking about it. Strength. To end these burdens. This Ten of Cups. This codependency. The thing to which you are tied. You can't get higher than the Ten. And King of Cups to follow your heart space. Your more mature heart space, what it is that you really and who it is that you truly want, that takes real strength. Oh, are we learning? Pisces, are we learning about what real strength is? Strength to stay in what it is that, that you have that's painful, tiresome, wears you down, wears down your heart, wears down your body, wears down your mind, versus what is mature and healthy. Mm. It takes strength to understand the difference between the two. Is it brave to stay in something that you know because you committed yourself to it? Because maybe you truly believe that you have to be in the other person's life in order for them to quote-unquote survive. They just can't do without you. Show me the state of swords, please. Show me the state of swords. Show me the state of swords. The hanged man, that's you. Over the Eight of Swords, you still don't know what to do. Page of Cups, so you don't say anything. It's looking like you may not. Mm. Death. That may not change. I see. Okay, so it is hypothetical. Oh, honey, that's hard. That's hard. 
A Pisces who's looking like, what if I had the strength to end these things that hurt me and wound me and go after who it is I truly wanted? Heavy Scorpio energy here. Leo, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra. Mm. What if? What if you did have the strength, honey? Some of this Queen of Swords are decision. Let's see the decision, please. Let's see that Queen of Swords. Let's see what you do. Let's see what you do. Some of this Queen of Swords, please. Page of Wands. Chariot. Devils in reverse. It's looking like you made a decision, after all. I thought we were going to stay in the land of hypothetical. What would my life have been like if I had the strength to make the decision to not choose codependency and toxicity and emotional deprivation? Your decision here, your advice is, is to be the Queen of Swords and clearly communicate that you're moving on from that which does not serve you. The devil's not here in the reverse because I should be moving on from Capricorn or Cancer, but take it off that zodiac context, just make a decision to move your emotionality and your best self forward through that which hurts you and binds you, which again is these double tens in reverse. It doesn't even have to, honey, you don't even have to be in love with somebody else. You don't even, you don't need the excuse of someone else's love in order to make these decisions for you. A lot of people, you know, and that's so weird to me. It's so weird to me. People think they need an outside motivator in order to make major decisions in their life. And really, the only motivation you should ever need is yourself. Something either feels correct to you or it doesn't. Something either feels lovely and healthy or it doesn't. Something either serves you or it does not. Outside influence be damned. Don't make decisions for other people. Make them for yourself. If it hurts you, then be rid of it. There's somebody who danced around the sphere of your life. That's someone I used to know. They represented new several times. That's not really your motivation here. That's not really the point, Pisces. They might have helped spur along the thoughts and the feelings, but at the end of the day, it's you. You have to not choose that which binds you, you know? You've been living with this for some time. Another 10 and a not good one, but it's also current. As far as I could tell. And that Six of Cups went bad a long time ago. It's in the reverse here as well. Show me this Ten of Swords, please. It hasn't felt good in a very long time. Some of you quite simply feel like you're not allowed to feel good. They even your person has control over your day-to-day -day pleasures. The, th the little things you take enjoyment in. Excuse me. I'm currently on call. Um, you're not allowed to take the simplest pleasures into consideration. You haven't felt good in a long time. Not with your person and not with yourself. But you're not in a place where you want to actively think about it either because it it hurts. The Hermit's in reverse. And let me know if you're done with Virgo. Honey, your heart space does not feel good. Queen of Cups is in reverse. I mean, if you want to see it, okay. Your yeah, overall is that you're in pain. The ending is at your fingertips. But you have not gotten to a place where you can address it yet because you are convinced you don't know your own heart. And honey, that's toxicity at its finest. When somebody convinces you, you don't know your own feelings. Take this person that's outside the sphere of your life, that person is just kind of a friend. Take them out of the equation. What is your motivation to stay with this person who hurts you? Disregard your feelings and makes you question your own sensibility. You don't need outside motivation for this decision. You just need you. Nothing is worth this. Just because they're an empress doesn't mean they're also not a devil. In fact, it's probably worse that way. That means they have even more say 
and what it is that you do think and feel. It's that much worse when an emperor or empress is that toxic because they insist that they're right. That's the worst. That's the worst. Worth waiting for. If this person who is the other that's on the sphere of your life as it were retreat take a time out to think worth waiting for if this person truly represents new I'm sorry to get back at that thought if they really do represent all these aces which by the way it's not that they're out of love with you they just made a decision to not show it to you it's an active decision it's already made it's after the fact okay um, so they might very well still have feelings for you it's just they've chosen not to show them or reveal them okay separation retreat get some fucking space from between you and this person separation and think and feel for your damn self I told you there's someone else around here who represents this idea of new love okay it could be a possible soulmate I see at some point you chose to kind of stay on your path there's a reason this other person has never left your mind you probably wondered if they weren't a healthier for you or represented a truer or stronger way of life you already know the answer to that and you have to trust it the ace of swords in this context trust you already know the truth honey this person is you're mm -hmm, over here that mess um, they probably maybe even had you think who else could possibly love you or want you or other garbage oh yeah there's somebody who's more than happy to trust you and to love you and to start with you because you have to trust that and it's easier to listen to this voice than it probably is someone who was always kind of on the sphere of your life this person is in your face every day all day telling you what to think and feel Fuck that. You have got to trust it. Playfulness. This other represents playfulness and easiness that this person does not. This is really weird. I keep getting that. It's like they. Mm, that Nine of Cups over the reverse. In the reverse over the Ten of Swords. It's, it's like you can't even fucking have a cup of coffee or a beer without them making you feel bad or getting up your ass or they won't let you sit down and think for you. you know what I'm saying it's like I'm looking at a Pisces who doesn't ask for much and it's like you can't even have the basic simple pleasures that's what I'm talking about that's that's not good at all pa yeah exactly good fucking point right there pay attention to the red flags you ever if you never have if you feel like a Pisces who never has a minute to yourself because you're not allowed to or everything the little things that you like equal up to bad in somebody else's mind why would you be wasting your time on that Pisces when you could be putting that on me what about me and it's constantly like that that's a red flag I don't mm -mm. Pisces I hope this was helpful to you put in the comments as you see fit you don't need the promise of a new love as motivation, you just need yourself. Take care. Be well.